Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on bar charts. Uh, so bar charts, or bar graphs as they're sometimes called, are a way of displaying data uh, using different heights of bars to represent frequency. Sometimes the data is split into two different categories or more. Uh, so uh, let's have a look at this example here. So 100 students were asked what their primary mode of transport for getting to school was. The results of this survey are recorded in the table below. Construct a bar graph representing this information. Uh, so to construct a bar graph, we usually plot frequency on the y-axis. So let's label that first of all. So frequency there. And then that means that the x-axis will be mode of transport. Uh, excuse my handwriting there. Uh, okay, so we need to choose an appropriate scale first of all. Uh, so for the frequency thing, we'll do first. So uh, the data ranges from the lowest value of 3 to the maximum value of 35. Um, so let's go up in fives. So there's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Uh, and then for the mode of transport, we can see that there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different options. Uh, so we're going to need five different bars. So let's now draw the bars. Uh, I'm going to add the labels first. So we've got walking, we've got cycling, we have car, we have bus and train. So th those are our five options. Uh, now we need to add the bars in. Uh, so for walking, the frequency is 29. So let's, oops, let's add a bar with a height of 29. So that's about there. And then for cycling, we have a bar height of 15. So 15 people cycle to school. And then for car, the most common answer, uh, the frequency is 35. So let's go up to 35, roughly there. And then we have a bus. So the frequency there is 18. And then finally, the train frequency is the smallest, it's three. Uh, so a couple of things to point out, uh, make sure that your bars are separated um, and try to make sure the spacing between them is even. It's also worth pointing out that if you're doing this in an exam, you can use a ruler to make sure that the heights of the bars are really accurate. Um, but other than that, this is a pretty much complete bar chart. So if we have a look at a second example now, so a survey was conducted asking people about their favorite flavor of ice cream. The results of this survey are displayed on the bar chart. Use the bar chart to complete the table. Uh, well, as we can see, all of the bars have been plotted and we're missing some uh, data from the frequency column. Uh, so first of all, the chocolate uh, category, you can see that that goes up to 12 here. So therefore the frequency is 12. And then the mint choc or mint chocolate category, you can see that goes up to three. Uh, that's this bit here. Uh, so you can see that that frequency there is three. So the next part, calculate the percentage of people whose favorite flavor is strawberry. Well, as you can see, the frequency for the strawberry category is five. Uh, so we need to know what the total frequency is across all the categories in order to work this out as a percentage. So if you add 12, 16, 5, 3, and 6, you should get a total of 42. Uh, so then as a percentage, all we have to do is do 5 divided by 42, and then times that by 100, and that gives us a value of 11.9% uh, to one decimal place. You could round that up to 12% if you wanted to. If you want to get some more practice in with some bar charts exam style questions, you can do so with our online exam. It's available through our revision platform. And if you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at, all of which you'll receive instant feedback for, as well as being able to view the word solutions. So if you're interested, uh, you can click the link below and it'll take you straight there.